Ooh. Yeah, it's not easy, Zardowski. It's a long time. Uh, hello, Inoho! To be socially present for six to eight hours on a video call? <laughs> you gotta, like, dress up for a video call. You can't just be naked, because they can see you. Kieran, you think you would get somewhat grumpy if you had to try and talk for 24 hours? <laughs> totally possible. Exactly, Ty. How dare the humans think they can outgun the gunners? How dare they? Am I going to play Imperador? Uh, yes, I already have a series being recorded for it. I believe I can start uploading it tomorrow. I think that's when the embargo is up. You're not getting me, are you? No, okay. Uh, no, actually, I know I said that, but I, I do not game naked, no. I do not stream naked either. So, we could ambush this no. new army. Hmm. Where are my schematics? Hmm. The problem is, I don't think this rat can get that far. Let's see. Yeah, so we did not get the ambush. And we don't have the reinforcements because we're not close enough. If we got the ambush, that would have been fine. But this is a lot to... Look at all those guns! And all these great swords. Jesus. Retreat. Hmm. Dang attrition. Hmm. Alright, move away from the city this turn. Move right there. We're going to have to eat a little bit of attrition here, because I really wanted to try and ambush this army, but it did not work. And without the other reinforcements, I'm not going to try. Uh, what can we do? We can upgrade the Overseer's Lookout. That would be good for our public order issues. And now we got to wait. Gosh darn it. My plan didn't work. Gotta run away. Uh, certain people can upload Imperador, Kitty. I'm not one of the certain people. Did I ever think doing Star Wars Empire War with mods like Thrawn's Revenge? I think I tried. Before. But I think it was just very boring because we had to do the ground battles and they just suck so much. Stars is cool, yeah, for sure. Uh, hello, Rick Stan, welcome. Hello, hello. You find Stellaris easier than Hoi 4, EU 4, or CK 2? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll agree with that. Okay. Now, what can we do over here? We can try to ambush again. Best inventor. We have incurred some losses. Which is not fantastic. Yes, yes. But I think we're still going to be okay. Didn't get the ambush. Hmm. Problem is, all those great swords worry me. They got two wizards. They outnumber us. We don't have a nuke. Hmm. 
the numbers that worry me. Our infantry is nothing compared to theirs. Miscalculated. Fight later. No. It's too risky. Try and ambush with one army and camp with another. We can try that. Go, scurry, go. Hmm. We need what fifty percent to raid? Now forward now. Or ambush, twenty five percent. Okay, let's move a little bit closer. So we're not raiding, but we are ambushing, so according to them, they only see one small army. So that means they will move one army first, and that army hopefully we will be able to ambush. Ah, and if this doesn't work this turn, we're going to have to get our numbers back up. Hmm, let's activate the right. Have I tried Battlefield 5? I played Battlefield 5 when it first came out, but I have not tried its Battle Royale mode. I just haven't been in the mood for first-person shooters much. Though I did dip back into Battlefront 2 for a little bit, just here and there. I think that's going to be our turn again. Ah. Uh, I am playing with the entire map, yes. It says the old world included. The old and the new. Yeah, the Tomb King stacks. Just three full stack Tomb King Harveys just hanging out of the city. That's fun. Hey, the Shadow Gore Horde was destroyed. No, our friend Sterling was destroyed. Probably by the vampires, I'd imagine. Hey, it worked! Wait. No, it didn't. We're not in ambush stance right now. They're just coming out to meet us. Okay. I think the enemy overestimates their power. They do have a lot of great swords. It is a lot of great swords. A lot of guns. Okay. Well, we definitely need our reinforcements for this one. They're going to be deployed there. I kind of want to hold this choke point, though. Hmm. Let's throw some uh, Skaven Slaves here to try and absorb some rifle fire, maybe. We need to try and delay the enemy because I want them to be corralled here. Rattling gun. Warlock Master! Yes, Warlock Master. Clan Rat Spears! Clan Rats! Clan Rat Spears! Clan Rats! Warlock Jezails! Hold the line, friends! For the Vermintide! For the Vermintide! You're gonna be sniping heroes there, buddy. Man, these, these slaves are not going to last, though, for sure. Corner camp? Nah. I try never to corner camp. Hey, thank you, Racer, for the host. Move up, move up, move up. We'll just give them a generic move order and then just organize them later. Just get them moving. Shriek! Where's Ikkid? Come over here. 
Will the rifle shoot through the buildings? You know, I... I was thinking about that. I don't know. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not have a nuke to utilize our awesome choke point here. Wish we did. Okay, so what we want to do here... We want to make you all group two. You are our snipers. Let's actually reposition you over here. Ah, mortars. Fantastic. Get into the choke point. We need more, uh, need more room. There we go. Line him up. Line him up. Keep that choke point. Screak, screak, suckers. Just rows and rows of rats to fill in the gaps. Get out of there, buddy. Get back in there. All right, and they're just firing into the side. That's what we want them to do. You will shoot at... Uh, just shoot down the rifles. Shoot down the rifles. Move over here. Move over here. Try and get angles on their lines. Fill in this hole. Light them up. Those great swords are just getting pounded. Shoot those rifles next. Spread out. Spread out. Hold that line. We'll use these if we have to. 
We may have to. Kill that hero. Kill that guy! God, look at all those bullets! Alright, the front line has collapsed. Go after the rifles. Hey, kid, where are you? Come over here. Get out of the, get out of the melee. You withdraw, you take a lot of damage. You withdraw, you take a lot of damage. You've also taken a ton of damage. Get out of there. We're gonna have Ikit go and try and toast out some of these rifles as well. Hero's been sniped. For the most part. Get the Bright Wizards. You just keep covering the bridge, that should be okay. Oh, just get peppered! There we go. A lot of rats died for this victory, but damn, it was cool to see this platform of guns just shooting into the bridge. That was just cool to see. Kill everyone that you can. Yeah, sure. Kill that guy. What? What orders? Light his ass up. Oh! Oh! The crossfire of flames. Sure, yeah. Kill this hero, too. Kill all their lords and heroes. We'll stop chasing them with the melee so that they can get a clear line of fire. Oh. oh hello, Jai. Welcome. Woo. Okay. I am happy with those kills, I think. Hello, Awesome Sauce. Welcome. Hello, Antar. Uh, that was a squad of rattling guns, yes. Or rat gunner team, I think is their official name in the game. Jai, you joined the RCN. Holy crap, nice. In the Navy, Jai will sail, this, sail the seven seas. I will set your mind at ease. All right, what we got here? Unit replacement by 3%. Food plus 2 in leadership or money. We did take a pretty heavy hit on our front line and some of our flamethrowers as well. Hmm. Like 3% is not going to be that much. Let's just do this. And now they go back into the... Yeah. They still have their garrison up, though. I don't think we have the forces needed to finish them off right now. We did unlock a regiment right now with that battle. The Teeth Breakers. The Rattling Gun Weapons Team. Well, well, well. Hello, renowned gunners. I actually don't know what they do. Oh, my ambush was foiled. Undercity established. We got a free spread from our city in Wurtbad that now is owned by the vampires. And we spread to Grumberg. Fantastic. That's exactly what we wanted. 
Excellent. Hello, Grunberg. Pleasure to see you here. Let us build some buildings in your beautiful establishment here. Yeah. Yes. So there we go, we got our free spread. That's our second one. Sterling is gone. Shadow Gore is gone. We killed this dude. Killed that guy. Killed that guy. That dude too. All died. So what are their numbers looking like right here? Unfortunately, the garrison itself is still rather large. We could lay siege, but we have taken a lot of hits. Warlock, master of Scryer. Hmm. Uh, hello, VM. Welcome. These skin what kind of skinks are these? They're the furry skinks. I think we just finished upgrading Blastmaster for this army. Hmm. Are there mercs in this game? No. Not that we can hire. There are technically mercenary companies. It's like these people down here, but we don't hire them. Unless there's some mechanic that I'm missing. Uh, so right now I'm just kind of debating with myself if I want to try and lay siege. Because they still have a full army here that they can march out of the city with. Oh, you can't pay them to go to war with others? Oh, okay. I guess I've just never really interacted with them. Ah, I like, I want to. I don't know if we can. We have no front line to speak of. I'll ignore that. Storm Demon. Hmm. Nobody, nothing conquers it. You know what? Let's let's just go away. We need our numbers back. So we'll go up here out of their attack range. That's in full march stance, so I don't think they can reach us in, in normal stance. And then we'll go back home, and then we'll come back. We lost too many troops. Not safe. What's your bat tail? Not safe. You got anything in Babali? Nope, that is still doing fine. What about our undercity here? So we're at a minus 40 discoverability here in Sartosa. We do want to upgrade this building though, because this gives a lot of money. But I also want food. So let's grab this scavenger raider building too. And then up here, that's fine. And let's grab the scavenger raider here too. Because now we're not in a positive income for our food, and I want to change that. Also, we do also the uh, Undercity up in Crag, which I have not done anything with. And I need to do something with that at some point. It's a lot of money managing a lot of Undercities. It's all worth it, though. Yeah, boo, I agree. We gotta heal. Downloading StarCraft 2 now. You know, I kinda wanted to do a stream at some point with just like a bunch of StarCraft custom games. Because I just, I haven't played any of them. I used to be real big into the custom games for StarCraft 1. Who needs a front line when you have uh, Slavens? Well, we have a pretty powerful back line, but we need the front line to hold the great swords for a little bit to give our gunners some time to kill them. Oh no, Durthu. Durthu. Dirthu. Oh boy. Any advice on how to play StarCraft 2? Um, if you've never played StarCraft 2 before, I'd probably just jump into like a custom game on an easier AI setting so you can familiarize yourself with the you know, different buildings and units and how they work. Just take it easy. Uh, thank you for the hoster, Mad Wookie. You can't use a front line when you can just have 19 rattling guns. Well, we need to pay for those rattling guns, though. It's, they're pretty expensive. Hello again, Wookie. What does an undersea siege look like? 
We have not seen one, and, and I don't know if there is one. They just say that if you're discovered, the city will most likely be destroyed. So I think it's just, you just lose it. Technology researched. More warp stone. Now, now. So the thing is, oh man, the orcs losing to the wood elves. That's not good for us. What do we? Oh, we can't move that. I was hoping we can move underneath the mountain, but we can't. I will not obey. So... That is unfortunate. I refuse. Well, that army probably can't kill two of us. Scary <gasps> move. Underway interception. Oh shit. This warlock wants blood. Oh shit. I forgot all about that, McKin. Hmm. This is not good. I do not think we will win this with three Skaven slaves that are almost destroyed. Oh boy. Guide us on. Listen. It's fine. Warlock master! Oh boy. Spears! Quick, quick! Alright, we want the mortar teams to start firing as soon as possible, so we'll try and bait them. Skaven! Yes, yes! Spears. Yes, there we go. Load your guns. Guide us, hold one. Hasten, hurry, shriek, shriek. Remember, you move your units after the uh, enemy fires, because the enemy is firing to where you're going to be. Unfortunately, fireballs are heat-seeking. Hard to dodge those. Uh, whew. So what we're doing here is we're trying to separate the mortar team from the rest of their army and we can ambush them with our summons. But we need their army to move up further. Now I move over here because the mortars are firing over here. Oh, hit your lord. Ah, damn it. Is the AI actually dodging the shots? That's kind of interesting. This is okay though, they're using all the winds of magic on a scave and slave. Yeah, the AI is actually dodging the sniper fire. That is shocking to me. Hmm. 
Oh! No, 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 don't rob me, need you! Oh, gosh darn it. We're trying to take out their leadership and hope that we can make them route. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Because our leader routed. Really sucks that we got hit by that fireball. Let me hit the button. The damn thing was blocking the button. They just got too many units. Gun. Gunners. Ah. It's too many. The mortars. I can't worry about the mortars. They got great swords and guns and shit. At this point, the mortars are the least of our concern. All we can do is just try and kill as many of them as we can. This is not a battle we're going to win. We killed a decent amount. How many did we get? Yeah, well, we killed about the same. Not bad for considering how outmatched we were in that one. It sucks losing our leader at the very beginnings. That's so many warp lightnings that we didn't have access to at that point. It may have been a different fight if we still had our caster. Because those warp lightnings could have torn up those greatswords. Farewell, my rat friends. That was unfortunate. <laughs> okay, what else do we got here? Uh, the hit and run. We'll do the hit and run. For the speed of our infantry. And, I guess we will be needing a... Ooh, right. Hmm. I think what we'll build is the... Oh, I can't afford it. We need 4,000. We're going to get 4,000 next turn. Let's start with the construction caverns now. 
And then we can build... We need uh, rat ogres. 100% we need rat ogres. They are one of the, like, I would say almost centerpieces of almost any army for the Skaven. Uh, what else do we want to do? All right, we have our guy over here. I think they're in the position that we want to... Where the hell am I going? There you are. Oh, no, I have you moving down even farther. Hmm. I mean, Ash River may be a good province to start. So the thing is, we just need to save the money so we can infest uh, Numas. So underneath that temple will be a Skaven city. And we're okay. The war with the Wood Elves, though, does have me slightly troubled. Slightly troubled. The Black Pyramid? Um, we could go for the Black Pyramid. The Black Pyramid is just the one city province, right? That's what, west of where we currently are? Uh, take care, Wookie. What are the Wood Elves gonna do? Dancing us like fairies? Well, they got arrows. Arrows can hurt a little bit. I mean, fairy arrows hurt just as much as real arrows. Did I notice the orc? Notice the new orc mountain stronghold between Bretonia and the Fair Lady. I do know that they added a couple new provinces in this update, uh, including the orc one, but I haven't noticed it myself now. Like they added a couple new Skaven factions in Lustria somewhere. All right, Tilia. Chief Warlock, Icket Claw. I see ya. All right, so now we want to build the uh, growth fat so we can get some rat ogres. I am worried about those wood elves coming up here. I would like covert choke points. Hmm. For right now... Actually, maybe before we build that, maybe we should use that money to raise up a new army. Weapon Master, Confidant, another Warlock Master with plus 5 armor and 3 defense. Um, I mean, yeah, I think we should probably keep it to the Warlock Masters. Trab. Warlock Master of okay, so we need to get you... Go. This is very expensive. Get some troops. You're in, in my optics. Engineer. And you... You will... Let's upgrade the block army. So yeah, the Black Pyramid is... I think like right over there. Somewhere over here. And we got two grand left. Where the heck am I? There we go. Nothing we want there. And we do want the covert choke point, so we will grab that. Because we're at war with the wood elves, they can come over the uh, forest at any time. I think that's going to be our turn. Dang Tilia. I saw the attack on Tilia going much different. Can I show the full map? Oh, sorry. Um, I... I will try and zoom out next time. Oh, hello, Gelfling. How's it going? But yeah, most of it is within a fog of war. You wonder why everyone loves the Skaven more than the new Lizards? Because the Skaven have mini guns and snipers. Is this, a, is this a real question? What do the Lizards have? Giant dogs that blow fire and a giant skink that is carrying the Ten Commandments?
You got Moe Skink. Moses King does look kind of cool, though. He is very large. Snipers are just slow guns. They're slow guns with a range of 300. Sorry, Via. I, I love the skinks, but I mean the Skaven are just they're just cooler. I'm not saying that the updated units for the skinks are bad. They're not. They're just not as flashy. Lizardmen have flying temple cities? Not in this game. Master Engineer. Hmm. Skaven slave slingers. Nah. We'll just run a bunch of slaves and then a bunch of guns. Spread our own corruption. Hmm. What do we want to do with the four thousand? Oh yeah, we'll grab we'll grab this now. So we can grab our rat ogres. Rat ogres are so good. When the Skaven first came out, I didn't think rat ogres were that great. And I still don't think they're one of the best, like, monster units, but I do think they're kind of essential for Skaven armies. Where are you, Black Pyramid? Is that the Black Pyramid? No, it's Kimri. What the hell is it? Maybe it's Southmore? I, can't, I haven't done many campaigns down here, so I don't really know the geography. Hmm. So one more turn until these are all back to full. Alright, and we have that unit of renown that we can recruit. So they cost a thousand the teeth breakers. Let's pin these. Their damage is a lot higher than a normal one, and they have suppress. <laughs> they actually that's like a Warhammer 40k mechanic kinda. To suppress them. Or at least like Dawn of War or something. Um so they do a lot of damage. They can slow enemy units. And they have that endless drum that we got on all of our units there. Concealment bomb. They also come with concealment bombs? Interesting. The normal ones don't come with concealment bombs, do they? No, they don't. But I guess the renowned one does. That's kind of neat. Yeah, like, look at that damage difference. Actually, there's not much damage difference. Never mind. <laughs> They're actually less. My bad. Uh, okay, but anyway, we will hire those in the next turn. Black Pyramid is southwest of Kimri? Okay. Sadly, the food system for Skaven is so broken in this game. I used to hate the food... Well, I still don't like the food mechanic, but it's easier to manage now since you can build food in the Undercities. Like, I have not had to do any raiding at all for food. Because in my Undercities, there are two different buildings that can provide you food now. Yeah, it's very good, Cyrus. I used to hate playing Skaven campaigns simply because the food mechanics sucked. It just sucked the fun out of the campaign. But now, since you can build an infinite amount of Undercities, and you can just put farms in them, that's fine. So like any city that you see with this little Skaven symbol, that shows that we have an Undercity in there. The Undercity spawns an army. Yeah, that's that they can also do that. Which is the plan. So currently, I don't know if you've been here for that one, Via, but we are spreading out different hubs of Skaven cities. There is a building in this Undercity that gives a, at maximum level, a 10% chance each turn that it will automatically spawn another uh, Undercity in a neighboring province. So I've been kind of seeding the world with Undercities in specific places and trying to get free Undercity spread. Like Sartosa, we didn't go there. We spread from Lucini there automatically with that building. So we got it for free. We could put Undercities anywhere, yeah. Goodbye, Averland. 
So what we currently have is an Undercity, we started in Wurtbad, which at the time, Sterling owned, but now the vampires do. And then that has spread over to Grunberg for free. And we also have a city down in Iron Crag? Black Crag. Which actually, I haven't done anything with this one. We probably should. Let's grab the subterranean pit. That's the thing that spreads. And then we will build the deeper tunnels. So we will lower our discoverability there. And then we will grab... How much does Black Crag make? It's making some decent money. So let's grab the Thieves Hidey Holes, which will to kind of take income from the city. And then the Murder Holes. So basically what I've done so far is in every Undercity, we make it harder to discover by building these two building chains. And then we have two actual, like, good buildings. So there we go. Black Crag has been added. Now, that's what we're doing down here is going to seed another city... In the Black Pyramid. There we go. So we're going to build one in here, and it's going to be able to spread, at least have a chance to spread, in every single neighboring province. Also, I think I need to add to the Grunberg, don't I? Oh no, we already got stuff in Grunberg. So yeah, we got a basic spread, we got the discoverability chance, and then the uh, food generating building there. Okay. So now, back over here. Tilia, Tilia, Tilia. So you have another army down there. They may want to try and move that up there if we advance on their main city. Hmm. Hmm. Kill contraptions! So the thing is, if they want to move this army up, if we go into like an ambush stance, we can maybe get them on the road. You? Oh, we don't have any money, so you're not going to do anything. Public order is not the best down there, but it's okay. Warlock ready. Let's just move you up here. Get them ready to move underneath the mountains at a moment's notice. Uh, thank you for the ah, racer fam. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, end the turn. Hopefully, we can catch one of these Tillian armies on the way up to our city. Oh, I didn't. Right, you're right. I didn't add the regiment around. Hello, Mr. M. Welcome. Hello, hello. I think we can win this. I didn't think they'd actually come out to uh, fight us. Interesting. Okay. Let's do this. I'm to remove them again. Doom Flayer! Doom Flayer! Warthog Desires! Rattling Gun! Warp Fire Thrower! Hmm. Not much room to maneuver Warp Fire Throws around. Unfortunately.
All right, let's make you group one. Let's make all of you group three, that's fine. And then group five. I think we should be okay. Maybe. Maybe. I do wish we had a nuke though, because that would have been pretty sweet. Some decent damage there. Motors are a little troubling. Remember, they do not have infinite um, morale anymore. Well, the knights are dead. Keep shooting them. Keep those guns busy. Move them up the side. Rock a Jaja's -Jaw friend. Take out skirmish mode. Keep them busy. Run them alive, you move up. I 
This is the front lines. Oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 oh, I did the wrong ones, you. Burn them alive! Not that lord. Go back in the middle. Focus the nose. Chasing them. Right side looks like it's okay. Just escort those people out. There we go. All right, now kill this piece of crap. There we go. You have been sniped, sir. Try to kill that guy. Come on, get that bright wizard. Snipe that bright wizard. You like fire so much? Do you like fire so much? Rattling your gun. How do you like it now? Alright, we can uh, think in the battle at this point. Woot woot. Our gunners barely got touched. Our front line though did get a little bit of a pounding. So do theirs. Well, we took out both their armies. They they do still have their garrison, though. But I think at this point, we probably just need to siege. you up. Yeah, I think we should be okay. We need to prevent them from getting anybody else. So we're going to build some siege engines here. And I think... Man, that's so many guns. God, they have so many guns. Continue siege. Uh, I can't get my ROR here in enemy lands, but we can over here. Warlock, master of so we will grab both of these. The Wood Elves have not started their advance yet, so I think we are just going to go support the Siege over here instead. And we got 4,000 left. 
Are the walls built? We do get the choke points. So that's good. Okay, so that's most of the setup. Do you have any upgraded... Oh, here we go. Let's upgrade you to your level 4. Oh, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. I did want to get the Undercity. Ah, this is more important. That's fine. Okay, so we are finally at last going to be able to sack this city. Holy crap, this just keeps getting closer and closer. Hmm. Maybe we do need to take the city soon-ish. Eh, okay. Ending the turn with one gold. Oh, it's okay, boo. Oh boy. So now the Wood Elves are united against us too. So we're fighting all the Wood Elves. Oh, bother. Yeah, okay. So we need to sack the city quick, get peace, and worry about the Wood Elves. Oh, looks like Shortosa took Lucini. Well, Tilia, how do you feel now? Hello, Forsaken, welcome. Oh, I'm doing good, Forsaken, how are you? No time. Experiments to do. Okay, so this is that new orc faction? Sure, non aggression packs. I am down for this. Tilia, who? Exactly. Ah, it's unfortunate, but. Undercities! And now I think I want you to return home. I want you to support our armies at this point. So, we do have at least one siege engine, so we can attack at this point. I think we kind of need to. Ooh, we don't want to drop into the orange. Let's just do three. I need more food in these undercities. Forsaken, you're running a fever of 102. Oh my god. I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. <laughs> 